Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Who's ready for some fighting words? So in this video, I want to talk about Canelo Alvarez. And as of lately, some posts have come out saying that Canelo Alvarez was offered Earl Spence. He was offered Dimit uh, Dimitri. He was offered uh, David Benavidez in Charlo. And, you know, he turned down a, a huge amount of money. Um, I believe it said, you know, Earl Spence was like 45 million or something like that. So, but prior to that, there was this notion that um, Canelo Alvarez is afraid of black fighters. He doesn't want to fight black fighters. Um, he only wants to fight a certain type of fighter who who has a certain type of style. And I just want to debunk that a little bit. Um, so just bear with me and everything will, you know, come naturally. Uh, but before I go any further, if you like these videos... Please, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it really would mean a lot to me. And I would also like to do some more things. I would like to make a whole lot more content than I'm making right now. And unfortunately, that comes with subscribers. So please like these videos. Please share these videos. But also, please, please subscribe to my channel. Now, let's get back to this. Um, so, you know, all these amounts are super big and, uh, you know, 45 million and 55 million. And, and, you know, that sounds nice. However, Canelo Alvarez could make 45 million. He could probably make a hundred million dollars fighting Jake Paul. If that's the case, if you just want to talk about the money that he could generate or he could make money like that, he can make a, maybe 150 million Fighting somebody like a, a Conor McGregor, if that's, if, if that's really what you're talking about. So that's that's nonsense. Like, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm not saying that they didn't offer that. I'm not saying that they did. I'm just saying, let's not say he turned it down or he walked away from that amount of money. Listen, if Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, and the AJ drama taught us anything... It's that people can say whatever they like, and you always get two sides of a story. Um, because until Deontay Wilder actually opened his mouth, we found out that he never got a check. He never got a, an official offer. He never got anything in writing saying, yeah, step aside and you'll get this amount of money or, or whatever. Not initially or anything like that. All we heard was the other side over and over and over again. And, and I... The same could be true with this, because we're not hearing Canelo Alvarez. We're just hearing, you know, people on the other side saying, well, he was offered this and he didn't say yes or he didn't take it. And one thing you got to remember is Canelo Alvarez is actually pretty young. I think he's like a year or two younger than Earl Spence. I think he's like a year younger. But what I mean by that is he's got time. Let's just say Canelo Alvarez is on this little journey and... You know, he wants to fight Bivol, and after that, you know, maybe one other guy. You don't think he has enough time to double back and fight Charlo or fight David Benavidez or fight Earl Spence? He definitely has time for that. And if that's the case, why don't you make take that $45 million and why don't you just make the Earl Spence versus uh, Terrence Crawford fight? Because honestly, I want to see that fight way more than I want to see Earl Spence fight Canelo Alvarez, to be honest with you. Because there is a size, dip, you know, difference. And I don't care if Earl Spence goes up. Then it would be like, well, you know, he's not used to the weight. Then you get Canelo Alvarez, but like, well, you know, he had to deplete himself. He's been big for a few years, fighting bigger guys. But we need to see Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. So let's make that fight happen. If we really want to sh shove some money around, do that with Earl Spence. I, I'm pretty sure I speak for the masses when I say we'd much rather see that fight. Um, you know, this really annoys me because, to be honest with you, it's like everybody's overlooking Dimitri Bivol. Now, I don't know what people were smoking or what people were thinking. He's not a joke. He's a very, very serious and dangerous threat. And Canelo Alvarez knows this. And it's amazing and shocking to me that most people are not giving him the respect that he deserves. You're talking about a big dude who hits really, really hard, who's very light on his feet, who has a ton of experience, and he lays his opponents down. He doesn't just beat them up like Earl Spence. You know, like, he puts them out. And then you're talking about, like, you'd rather see Earl Spence fight 
Canelo Alvarez? No, I'd rather see Canelo Alvarez fight Bavall. What are you talking about? I want to see if if Canelo Alvarez can rise to the occasion because that's technically what he's going to have to do against Bavall is rise to the occasion. It's not the other way around. Bavall is a big, strong dude, and he's very decorated. He's not rising to anything. He's staying the same. It's Canelo who will be rising to the occasion. I really don't understand what people are saying. Um, listen, Bavall is a very serious threat to Canelo. And if you think Canelo is taking... If you think Canelo not fighting somebody like an Earl Spence or or Demetrius Andrade or, you know, Charlo or David Benavidez, you think Demetrius Bavall is the easy route? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> out of all those guys, only only David Benavidez gets knockouts. But let's take it a little further. It's not like he he's fought the best dudes in the world. Canelo Alvarez has fought some of the best dudes in the world. So if you put David Benavidez with a top-notch guy, I'm not even sure he's going to continue to get the knockouts he's been getting. I don't know. I do know Canelo Alvarez well. I do know that. I do know that he'll continue on his knockout win streak, putting guys down. I know that much. So it's it's just ridiculous to hear this. Um, Canelo Alvarez is clearly not taking an easy route. And I think we need to give him the respect that he deserves for taking the route that he's taken. Because his trajectory is going to lead him with some giants. <laughs> if he keeps going this way, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring him into a land of giants. And it's going to get progressively more hard and dangerous for him to win these fights. And just flat out dangerous for his health as the as the competition gets bigger and stronger and hits harder. Um, listen, Canelo Alvarez already has a vision for his um, his career, his path, and the goals that he wants to do, you know, with his career. He wants to be the first mes Mexican to to unify in certain weight categories. Why is that an issue? It shouldn't be an issue. And he's he's literally on that track and he's doing these things. Allow him to do what he's been doing. As I said in one of my previous videos, if you guys feel so strongly about Canelo Alvarez, why don't you all fight each other? And then the winner comes and gets Canelo Alvarez when he doubled back. Because I do believe he will double back. Because the reality is he can't keep going up. Like, I don't think it's, it's safe for Canelo to hit like 180 or something like that. He can't just keep going up. So he will more than likely at some point double back. And when he doubles back, whoever the winner is of that, because there's like four or five of these guys, whoever the winner is, figure it out. It's, who knows the way these guys are fighting once a year. It might take two years before they figure it out. So by the time Canelo doubles back, you have one guy. He can fight that individual. Let's say it's David Benavidez or Charlo. It doesn't really matter. He can fight that individual. And then we'll know what would have happened. Simple as that, okay? But just to say that Canelo, no, we want you to fight all of these guys. Why? Why? Why don't you figure out who's the king of the, who's the king of the heap over here? And then he's already the king. Then those two kings fight. Simple as that. Um, you know, the Baval fight is still a better fight. I'm sorry. When we're talking about the threat level, the danger level, the uh, punching power level, the skill level, the experience level, I'm sorry. Bivol is a much more dangerous fight than David Benavidez right now. He is. Or Charlo. Or Earl, definitely Earl Spence. I'm sorry. Earl Spence is the smallest out of all of them. He's 147 pounds. He's, yeah, I get it. You know, it's hard for him to make the weight, yada, yada, yada. But he still made the weight. So, therefore, it ain't that hard. So, he's still the lightest out of all of them. Bivol is a much more difficult fight than any of those right now. It is what it is. You know, it's amazing. Lomachenko, he gets all this praise for having 300 amateur matches and all the, you know, like all these accolades. And yet, Dimitri Bavall has had like 268 amateur matches and he's only lost 15. Hello, everybody. That's the same thing as Lomachenko. If we're going to praise Lomachenko for all this stuff that he's done, then we need to give that same respect and adoration to Dimitri Bavall because he's also done the same thing. And again, he's bigger and hits harder. Okay? Like, what are you talking about? This is a much more dangerous fight, especially on paper. As much as I love 
Demetrius Andrade, as much as I love Charlo, as much as I love David Benavidez, and I love Earl Spence. I'm sorry. On paper, who's the most dangerous man in the room? Dimitri Bival. He is. I don't care what anybody says. 268 amateur matches, only 15 losses. That dude's dangerous. He's dangerous. He's big and he's light on his feet. He hits hard. He puts guys down. They don't get back up. He's dangerous. So I'm sorry. Canelo is not taking no light routes. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Um, what else? Listen, I would love to see D D Canelo Alvarez fight David Benavidez. And I do believe one day they will meet up. I do believe that. Who doesn't want to see two Mexican warriors get in there and scrap it out? <laughs> I'm first in line and want to see that fight. I definitely want to see Demi uh, uh, Charlo fight Canelo Alvarez. We're talking about the aggression, the speed, the athleticism, and one of the, well, unfortunately, his brother doesn't, sticks to one game plan. But the bigger Charlo, he can adapt and he can adjust. I think it would be really interesting stylistically to see what he does with Canelo, especially in the later rounds, because he does know how to switch it up. But I still want to see Canelo Alvarez fight Dimitri Bivol. I'm sorry. It's still a better fight. At the moment, it's the more dangerous fight. It is. Uh, so it is what it is. In the meantime, listen, this is still a good fight. I don't want to take anything or any respect from Dimitri Duval, Bivol. And I feel like people have seriously overlooked this man. I think Canelo Alvarez, you got to give him all the respect in the world because he's taking on giants. And I mean, if he keeps moving in the way he's moving, he's going to be fighting dudes at 180 pounds, 185 pounds. And who knows? He might even touch 190 pounds. You know, so you got to give that dude's respect. You you really get... And I'm not saying that anybody is lying when, when it's presented that they've offered Canelo $45 million for Earl Spence or whoever. I'm not saying that they're lying. I'm just saying, let's hear both sides of the story. When we go to court, we get both sides of the story. But when it comes to boxing, we one side is good enough. It's not good enough. Maybe Canelo has another plan. He's like, listen, I'm going to double back, but let me just do what I want to do right now. And I'll double back and I'll fight whoever you want me to fight or, you know, whoever makes sense or whoever wins out of all those guys. If they were to ever fight each other, which makes perfect sense, it makes a stronger argument to say, listen, Canelo, Fight me. Give me the big payday. Why? Because I just went through all these guys so that I became top guy. So just fight me. You don't even have to fight those guys anymore. You just fight me. I'm pretty sure he would say, yes, I would definitely fight you. But those are my thoughts. You drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you have to say.